Hi, I'm Jessica and welcome to my channel. I have a message for you guys today and it revolves around the porcupine spirit. It says time for a beginner mind. All right, so what this is telling me is that um, you need to take a fresh look at everything that you're doing right now, like a, a, a fresh set of eyes, like, um, like look at it from the point of view of a kid, okay? Like, get excited about whatever you're doing, okay? And and just look at it um, with a beginner mindset. Like, you've never done this before. You've never seen it, even if it's something you've done over and over and over again. Maybe, um, you know, it's just time to look at it differently from a different perspective and to have a little fun with whatever you're doing, okay? Um, it's just time to um, have fun. <laughs> I'm a huge advocate of having fun, by the way. Um yeah, whether it's like a, a, a relationship, an opportunity, or just, uh, you know, any kind of situation that you're in. Um, look at it with like a childlike curiosity, okay? And, uh, and, and that's going to bring you a lot of joy, okay? It can make any kind of drab situation a little bit more fun, okay? Um, okay, well, I'm going to see if I have any cards um, that can give you guys some advice today, okay? Let's see. I hope you guys are having a great day. All right. Ooh, I hurt my hand yesterday. I smushed all of my fingers uh, when I was moving something yesterday. So I may have a little problem shuffling today. But hey, they're not broken. They're not broken. Just a little battered and bruised. So we're good to go. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not going to be hand modeling anytime soon. Let's put it that way. Okay. Okay, let's see. Do I have some cards um, for the collective today? Time for a beginner mind. Okay. All right. Well, you might be at an impasse right now. You might feel like there that your path is blocked. Okay. Um, now, if you're feeling like that, it's uh, it's time to reflect and redirect your energy, okay? It's time for beginner mind. It's time to look at it differently, okay? Whatever kind of obstacle that is in your path right now, it is time to look at it with a fresh set of eyes and with, um, you know, actually, uh, uh, what I'm feeling is like maybe you should go out and, and take your mind off of it for a little bit. Take your mind off of it. Go for a walk. You know, um, watch watch a movie, like do something, go dance, you know, <laughs> go, uh, just go spend some time outside, listen to the birds chirp, you know, do something that resets you and, uh, and you can get back to, into the flow, you know, take a little time off, redirect your energy and, uh, and, and, and jump around, do some jumping jacks <laughs> and, um, and come back in and, and just have that beginner mind. If you got, if you've got a blockage. Um, you know, try to, try to change up your energy a little bit and look at it like a kid. Okay. And the childlike, um, sense of enthusiasm. Okay. Because all is possible. You just got to choose your path. You're going to do it the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> because it's all brand new. There's something, you know, maybe it's just a new way of uh, thinking about stuff. Maybe you haven't done this before. Maybe this is, you know, this is your new cycle and it's all, you know, something brand new is here. And, uh, and, and with the whole new cycle comes a whole new way of living and thinking and being, okay? So, um, and love is flowing through you, baby. It's flowing through you and to you, all right? So love is love is flowing all around you. Maybe you've got a new relationship uh, in the works, you know? And, uh, and it's time to look at love from a beginner's mind. Maybe um, you've got some outdated ways of thinking. And uh, things that people have told you in the past just aren't true, you know, or it's just not going to work for you now in your life. You know, maybe um, the traditional way of thinking isn't serving your highest good anymore. <laughs> okay. And maybe it's time to think outside the box. Okay. Uh, maybe you are about to be in a relationship or you are in one with someone who's nothing, you know, like your usual person that you dated um, or, or you've been married to or whatever. Maybe it's um, time to give something brand new a try. OK, there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Um, I think it's refreshing to try new things. OK, and that includes people. <laughs> Don't, don't keep a closed mind. Just have an open mind, okay? Because that's what's really going to make you happy. Um, when we have an open mind, um, anything's possible. 
All right, life will open up for you as you get and as you open your mind and expand your way of thinking and don't think inside that little box that we've been taught to think in um, all of our lives because that's not going to get us anywhere uh, except stuck like Chuck. All right, we don't want to get stuck like Chuck. Don't be stuck like Chuck. If there's any Chucks watching, you guys are awesome. But I hope you're not stuck. <laughs> okay, get unstuck, Chuck. Okay, let's see if I have, whoop, yep, we got a card that went flying. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Yeah, get unstuck, right? Did I just say stuck like Chuck? Yeah, this is get unstuck. Oh my gosh, get unstuck. This is releasing things that don't serve your highest good anymore. Old patterns, okay? Patterns that just did not go well for you in the past. You know, maybe uh, you procrastinate. <laughs> maybe you are, um, uh, I don't know, maybe you don't like to ask for help, you know? Um, it, could be, it could be a range of anything, okay? It could be a range. So um, release that, okay? Release things that just aren't working out for your highest good, okay? And uh, because you're releasing all that, as you, as you change your way of thinking, as you look with the beginner mind and, and uh, look at different angles and different perspectives and put a fresh set of eyes into everything that you do and think of it on a, a childlike enthusiasm, enthusiasm, um, you know, it's going to heal you and it's going to be very healing and it's going to heal your past and your present okay so think about that you know when it's um when you when you're in any kind of situation where you feel like you're at an impasse and you feel like you're stuck stuck like chuck you're not stuck you gotta unstick yourself <laughs> okay yeah no one's coming to save us but us okay no one is going to save you or, or help you but you sometimes and uh, we have to stop sitting around waiting for someone else to come and be that knight in shining armor or the, you know, are you, you know, even, even if there's someone else in your life, that's like a damsel in distress. It's not your job to save everybody. You know what I'm saying? So um, just remember that it's okay to lend, lend a helping hand. It is okay to, to, to help people. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to help people, but um, you know, we got to help ourselves. Okay. And always have gratitude. All right. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yes. Always be grateful and have living gratitude and just be thankful for all that you have. And, uh, and like I always say, even if it's just a little bit, um, be thankful for what you have because, um, you know, and if you have a little bit and you feel like you need more, you know, you possess the gifts of the soul that benefit you and others. So maybe there's, um, a special gift that you have that you're meant to share with the world, okay? And uh, and that'll bring you more prosperity into your life, okay? On a whole bunch of different levels. You just got to look at things with a childlike enthusiasm, <laughs> okay? And make, and make life fun. Life is not meant to be hard. It's meant to be fun. And we're meant to enjoy life. You know, it, it is kind of hard, though. <laughs> it is hard to enjoy life, especially when uh, things are getting us down and the world is seems to be crumbling all around us, right? I mean, it happens. And, um, you know, just try to, to live in as much gratitude as possible. I mean, I'm thankful that I still have my fingers. <laughs> Even though they hurt really bad and they're all bruised, I guess you can see that. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but, hey, I'm, I'm glad I have my fingers, you know. Um, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I have gratitude and I'm thankful that I still got my fingers. But, anyways... <laughs> All right. Well, just um, always have a beginner mind, okay, in whatever you're doing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I hope that you'll join me next time. Um, I hope that you will follow me on Instagram at Oracle of the South, um, at War Woman Goods, and at Into the Portal underscore Jessica, okay? Um, tune into my show on Saturday. I'm going to have Trey from Squatch Me Now join me. We're going to talk about his uh, his new docuseries, The Masters of the Hunt. It's all about Bigfoot and... Um, it's going to be awesome. He I, I, And also follow him on all his social media sites, okay? He's got a podcast. It's under Squatch Me Now, okay? I'll put that in the link uh, below, the, the link in the description box below. And, uh, and I'll see you guys Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, okay? Until the next time, I'm sending love and light.